Hey guys, my name is Fraser Hebert. Um, I work for NextGen Automotive Installation, and I just wanted to show you guys this 2013 Ram that had the 8.4 inch touchscreen before, and we upgraded to a unit with wireless CarPlay in it. So I just want to show you kind of the pros and cons of it, and this might appeal to some people that don't have a new Ram, like a 2018 or newer with CarPlay in it, or they just want to upgrade. So check it out. So first of all, this is my phone, and it's wirelessly connected to the truck. So I can use my phone, I can load up my Spotify, and play my music straight from my phone without connecting a wire. Um, all your favorite apps are on here. Um, no matter which navigation apps you use, we got Waze, we got Google Maps, we got at regular Apple Maps, doesn't matter and we have full Siri control so I can use my steering wheel controls or I can use this button on the radio to directly talk to Siri and I'll show you how that works here uh, just a side note too the factory buttons below the radio they still work you do not have to use the new buttons on the aftermarket radio and your steering wheel control buttons still work as well Take me to Next Gen Automotive Installation. Getting directions to Next Gen Automotive Installation. Um, climate controls are also hooked up to the radio. You can see how easy Siri is to use. Starting route to Next Gen Automotive Installation. Proceed to 38th Street East, then turn left. So without even touching the radio, I can use Siri and I can call somebody, I can text somebody, I can get directions somewhere, or I can get her to control apps for me. So Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, they're all on here. If you use Spotify, Tidal, whatever you use, that is all, or uh, sorry, if you use Spotify, Tidal, or Apple Music, it works with all those apps, or if you listen to podcasts like I do, you can use Audible or uh, Apple audiobooks. So aside from that, um, climate controls work with the radio and they're all synced. So if I just turn up the fan speed, that all pops up on the radio as it would in the previous vehicle, or we can directly press it on the radio instead of using the controls. If you got a heated steering wheel, press that, heated steering wheel comes on. If you got cooled seats, press that, the cooled seats come on. Or you can use your OEM buttons lower up down here and you can see them changing there on the screen as we use the factory buttons. Um, Android Auto is also wireless or if you're, um, if you're an Android guy you can use wireless mirroring which means whatever is displayed on your phone will identically display on the radio. So if you turn your phone to the side it will display it horizontal. If you control your phone like this it will display it vertical. And you can scroll through YouTube, you can scroll through Instagram, you can do whatever you want right on the radio. And obviously we don't recommend that. If you're driving the vehicle, you need to be safe and keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Um, vehicle information, same as before. We got all the tire pressure displays here. If we have a door a little bit open by accident, that will pop up on the radio and let us know that the door is open or the hood is open. Uh, if you get a check engine light, you can read and delete it straight from the radio. So no more um, going to the mechanic, charging $120 just to hook up their tool and tell you what's wrong with the vehicle. You can click this button, it will give you the code, and you can go to your mechanic with the code to avoid that diagnostic charge. On top of that, if you tow trailers or if you just like techie stuff, we can display your gauges right on the radio. So if you want to see your load percentage, if you want to see things like transmission temperature, if you have the diesel models, you can show a boost gauge and it's in real time. So if I rev the motor up, it shows us what's going on with the engine as well. And these are all customizable. So these are all the things we control. Fuel pressure, air temperature, gas temperature, engine oil temperature, fuel mileage, mass airflow sensor, your quarter mile times, throttle position, timing advance, transmission fluid, it's all on here, so those are completely customizable. 
Um, parking assist settings, your reverse camera works just like it did before. If you put it in reverse, you can see right on here. And we can retain dynamic parking lines. So if you turn the wheel, the lines will turn as well. Another cool thing, um, you get this, you get this little car that pops up right here that um, simultaneously will show you your parking sensors on the same screen as the reverse camera. So I'll just go outside the vehicle and move closer to the parking sensor so you can see how that works visually and audibly. So that's a pretty awesome feature and just like the factory, if you don't like that annoying beeping, you can just turn the parking sensor audible off and you don't have to deal with that. Yeah, other than that, it's just a really, really solid radio. Um, if you got Sirius XM, we can retain that. Radio, disc, CD, USB, all your factory locations we retain. So there's a USB and auxiliary in the glove box and those will work as they did before. So you're not losing any features. Everything would work the exact same that it would as it did before you install the radio with the 8.4 inch screen. And uh, we can also retain the factory Alpine sound system. So if you have the base model or if you have the upgraded Alpine system, it doesn't matter. We can work with both of them. And I just think the biggest takeaway from this is it's the it's factory feeling it looks like a factory radio it works like a factory radio and it syncs with all the factory knobs factory USBs steering wheel controls factory reverse camera everything works the same way it did before uh, lastly we can change your steering wheel control buttons so before you could only press your steering wheel control buttons to do one function now we can add two functions so CarPlay, I can change songs from my steering wheel controls, just like this. Or if I press and hold that button, instead of changing songs, it can take me directly to a screen. Just like that. So a pretty handy feature. Um, again, this is Fraser at Next Gen Automotive Installation. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and our phone number is 306-374-6398. Thanks a lot.